Hi, everybody. Welcome to Orange Slice, the podcast of OSU OKC, where we talk about life on campus, academics, uh, all kinds of other things regarding OSU OKC and, and what's going on here. Today, I've got with me our director of fire protection, Joe Bennett, uh, who is in charge of one of our most popular programs here and one of our most Im- important. I mean, they're all important, but Hey, if your house is on fire, you want these guys <laughs> to know where you're at. So, Joe, thanks for being on the show. Yeah. Um, can you how to tell us about how you uh, got into, I guess, first to firefighting, and then how that ended up being where you're an instructor here at OSU OKC? Uh, well, I never wanted to be a firefighter. Interesting. Uh, but I uh, married a firefighter. Okay. And um, she always tried to talk me into becoming a firefighter. And... Um, we just happened across a uh, car uh, car versus motorcycle accident one time, and um, she jumped into action. I saw what she was doing, and then the next day I signed up for our fire academy, and that's what got me started in the fire service. All right, because really it is, I mean, it's more than just, although it's right there in the name, it's more than just fighting fires. There's, there's uh, emergency medical services. You're the first ones called, really, when something happens. Yes, uh, so. whether it's medical or fire, um, we're, uh, for instance, medical, we are uh, automatically dispatched along with EMS. So uh, in a, a lot of the cases, fire is the first one on scene. Um, so um, tell us about our programs here. What are the ways you can get into the programs here and, and who are we looking for and, and what, what's the process look like? Uh, we are actually looking for anyone that wants to become a firefighter. Um, you have to be 18 or up to the age of 44 to become a paid firefighter in the state of Oklahoma. You could uh, be a volunteer at any age, um, 16 and older. So, uh, But what we do here is we train them to become paid or career firefighters. Um, and so our pro- we have two programs. We have our, what we call the certificate program or our fire academy, which is built into the um, associate's degree of fire protection. Um, that one only takes a semester to complete and then your job ready as soon as you complete that. And then you can come back and finish out your degree so that you're eligible for promotions in the fire service. And we have also some things where people can come back and maybe they're already in the career and get eligible for more. Is that, is that how that works? I mean, that's, is that what the second half of it would be? Right. Um, all of our certificates that are built into our program are recognized worldwide. So, Firefighters that are already on the job or already employed, they bring those basic certifications they earned in their initial hire phase, and they use those to get advanced standing through that first semester, and then they finish out the program to complete the degree and make them eligible for promotions for their future. What are some of the things that um, that really make you enjoy your job, that make you want to do this every day? Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I still get to, uh, as part of our stuff that we do, we, we, our, our students do ride-alongs or what we call internships with the fire departments at the end of their training. So I still get to drop by the fire stations. I get to interact with the, with the students as they come through the program, see them grow and see them learn their skills. And then our instructors that we have um, that uh, work with the fire academy students are a great group of guys and gals that are just fun to work with. What are some of the characteristics that make somebody a good firefighter, or even a great firefighter? Like if somebody's watching this thing, I wonder, you know, what are some characteristics that you've you've noticed that that make somebody really uh, do well in this field? Um, well, really, it, it comes down to work ethic. Um, the harder they apply themselves, the better they pick up the skills, the faster they fit into the, the cultural environment of it. Um, just about anybody can do the job. Um, and that's what we focus on is is taking the individual and improving them in their areas so that they become a very effe- effective, efficient uh, firefighter. All right. Well, very good. Um, well, you're telling me you're originally from Midwest City. Yes. Um 
Did you, is that where you started being a firefighter or is that where you, uh, tell me kind of geographically where all of you been? Uh, geographically, it would have been yeah. Logan County. It's okay, called great. Oak Cliff. It's uh, basically North Edmond, um, so southern Logan County. And that's where I spent most of my, that's uh, where I spent all of my career time. And then after I went full-time into teaching, I became a volunteer firefighter. And then that one was with the Sooner Fire Department, and it's right outside of Guthrie. Um, and I served as an assistant chief there until I just got too busy, so I, I just couldn't do the, do that job well anymore. So I stepped away, and, and uh, they're still doing good, though. Um, something that I is going to show off a lot of people doing good. We think uh, this summer will be these uh, regional mm -hmm. uh, firefighter championships that are coming right here to campus, which is pretty exciting. Right, right. Um, so we have the uh, firefighter challenge coming to uh, our campus this June, and it's the regional championship. So we will have people coming from all over the United States, and I am told that we will also have a team coming from Japan as well. So, um, and, and typically, I mean, I don't know entirely who will be coming other than the Japanese contingent, but it's frequented by, you know, groups of Austrians and, and European uh, groups as well. So, but I had, the only one I've been told about is Japan. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's very popular among the firefighter, um, in the firefighter world. And so uh, I'm sure we'll get a big attendance for that. That's right. Now, I saw the... Uh the competition we had last year, which was with high school students, um, is is it similar or much more challenging? Are they doing some of the same things? <laughs> well, that that particular one that we did last year was was kind of like a a, a demonstration deal, so it was mm -hmm. kind of open just about anybody to come do it. But the same the the field the the way the field's set up, uh, the bleachers and all the towers and everything, it's it's the exact same. It'll just be a little bit more serious, more competitive than the last time they were here. In, 2019, I believe. Okay. Um, so is this like watching the uh, the Tom Brady of firefighters? Is that kind of the caliber <laughs> of firefighting that uh, we're going to see here? Uh, I wouldn't. I don't know Tom Brady level, <laughs> but I know it's a very serious competition. I mean, they get the competitors get very excited about how much sunlight there is, whether they're in the shade on the on the course i'm uh, there's very special uh um, firefighter gear that they wear wear for this competition and um it's quite physically challenging so i um, mean you definitely have to be in good physical condition to do it so um are there i mean i don't know if this how this exactly are there like is it like going to a gymnastics meet like they're going to do this and then this like you're going to go to the the beam and then to the vault and, and the average your scores out or how does it how does it work for me from a spectator point of view uh for the spectator you're going to see uh two firefighters compete uh at the same time that's identical courses okay um stair climb hose raise um dummy drag there's multiple uh, tasks within each uh um uh, run that they do. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but it's just so a head to head. They're they're head to head, and it's a timed event. Okay. And so, are there heats, or is it just at the end of the, all of them the top time wins? Um, that one I could not tell you. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Well, you'll have to show up and find out. I will be there for sure. <laughs> I to, promise. You have to show up and find out. <laughs> well, I just think it's interesting. It's kind of like firefighter Olympics. Like, what is what? Uh, how old do you? How because it's skills that you need, but it's not a skill that you usually get to watch. Yeah, that would definitely be a good description, the Firefighter Olympics. But, yeah, that's, that'd be it. Um, and sometimes they do televise it, these on ESPN. I don't believe this one will be televised. They'll probably do the, the, the World Championship as far as television is concerned. But, yeah, it's uh, pretty popular among the fire service world. And, I mean, it's right up there with the CrossFit games and that kind of stuff. And this and the qualifiers here will get to go on – and, yes, and, yes, and compete for the world championship, which it, is exactly pretty exciting. So mm -hmm. you could see a future world champion here. It's possible. Absolutely, you could. All right. Um, so what? Uh, going back to kind of our programs here, what is our? What's the enrollment cycle people should be looking at? Let's say um, this episode will probably hit in March sometime. So mm -hmm. what? What timeline are people looking at for? When the, when the next round of maybe applications are or that sort of thing. 
Uh, we start a new uh, round of applications every semester, so uh, you can start any semester that you like. Um, typically, we like to have you enrolled early, but um, we take students all the way up to the day before classes begin, and we stay pretty packed as far as our, our initial first semester courses are concerned. All right. Um, okay, so this is just kind of a uh, off-the-wall question, but... Uh -huh. Having been a firefighter, you're running into burning buildings. Are you, does spicy food bother you at all after having done all that? Or <laughs> are you very much going to give me the hottest wings you have? Like uh, at the Super Bowl party, are you like, no, just give me the, give me the level nine? I would say that uh, that's probably just personal preference. <laughs> okay, and there's no necessarily correlation. And, and maybe, maybe uh, what region of the United States you grew up in. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I didn't know if you're like, well, I, I, come on, I've run into burning buildings. Don't give me these one what? one sauce wings. Give me uh, the... My wife is from originally from California, and she spent 28 years in the fire service, and I'm from Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Um, and I lived in South Texas for quite a bit of time. Okay. So I like very spicy food, but my wife being from California, uh, she, she's iffy on pepper. Okay. So okay. Uh, I think it's more probably more, more a personal re regional preference. personal preference thing. Yeah. But you would be ready to go on the hot one ship. Absolutely. You could handle, you could uh, handle yeah. the bomb or whatever. They uh, throw absolutely. At you. Yeah. All right. All right. Very good. Um, well, I think that was kind of the high points that I had in mind to hit. Was there anything you want to tell us about that we haven't touched base on? No, I think uh, really that's about it. Um, great place to be. Great program. I hope this continues to grow. And uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. So if you have any interest in being a firefighter, check out uh, the website there. Uh, look for fire protection on the OSU OKC webpage. Uh, there's all kinds of information about getting involved there. And maybe come down in June, check out the firefighter challenge that's going on here. Find out who's going to qualify for those uh, world championships. So I'd like to thank Joe Bennett for joining us today on Orange Slice. And thank you for watching. And we will catch you next time.